Hello, my name is uh, Nieves Gonzalo. I'm an interventional cardiologist at uh, Hospital Clinico San Carlos uh, in Madrid. This is an interview about the future intracoronary uh, imaging that will be shown in a TNT session. Well, I have three main uh, indications for the use of uh, intracoronary imaging. The first one is uh, for optimization of PCI, especially in complex settings. This will include uh, calcification, left main, diffuse disease, bifurcations. The second one is uh, stem failure. Uh, we're really assessing the mechanism that led to restenosis of throm or thrombosis is critical to correct it. And the third indication is um, in acute coronary syndromes, also to assess the substrate and optimize the procedure. Well, I think that uh, the use of an extractor uh, algorithm can be very helpful to implement uh, the use of intracoronary imaging in the workflow of the lab. Um, I think uh, one of the barriers for the incorporation of OCT or uh, IVUS or imaging in general is the um, perception of some of operators uh, about these techniques that you really need to be an expert to be able to interpret the findings and really um, incorporate this in your uh, decision-making process during PCI. So I think that really providing this kind of algorithms that uh, structure the information and really tells you what you need to look at in the different parts of the procedure can be can be really helpful. Um, besides, uh, it's very important, for example, algorithms like MLD Max, they emphasize how important is the pre stand assessment, how really uh, the information you can gather about the lesion morphology and the precise sizing can really help you simplify your procedure. And um, is some interesting data coming from the Light Lab initiative showing really that the OCT pre assenting was the one that changed more the decisions that the operators uh, took along the procedure. So, um, so I think uh, these are very interesting findings and I, uh, I think that these kind of structural algorithms can really help in the implementation of these uh, techniques in the workflow of the lab. So for me, uh, the future of uh, intracurrent imaging comes from a complete integration in the CAT lab and in the workflow uh, of the procedures. And I think in this regard, the development of software that can facilitate the interpretation um, of the images that we obtain during the procedure are, is, is really relevant. For example, in this uh, case, the new developments with Ultreon that incorporate the um, MLD Max uh, algorithm. So you can really follow the uh, screens for the pre and post uh, standing uh, assessment and follow the steps of the algorithm. This can be really, really helpful, uh, especially uh, for operators that are at the beginning of their experience with uh, this kind of techniques. Also uh, regarding image interpretation, I think artificial intelligence will play a major role uh, in the future, especially to assess some uh, features that sometimes are complex uh, to interpret for the operator. For example, Ultreon incorporates the assessment of calcium and also EEL. Calcium sometimes can be difficult to interpret and especially difficult to quantify. And um, this software is able to provide uh, some uh, semi-quantitative um, measurements. For example, EEL uh, has been one of the um, topics that have been more difficult with OCT. If it was uh, easy or not to assess it, it was possible or not. And really having this kind of automatic um, detection of EEL that is telling you in which regions is it visible and uh, measurable um, can be really, really useful, useful in the future for the implementation of algorithms uh, for sizing. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy PCR 2021 and please visit the TNT session to learn more about this.